morning. I'm delighted to be talking to Gillian Wheeler, who is our latest Look Fabulous Forever ambassador. Gillian really has had a life that's been all about flowers. For 30 years, she taught flower design at the University of the Arts. And then at the age of 56, she decided to open the Covent Garden Academy of Flowers, where she teaches a wide range of courses. And there's also an annex in Chipping Camden. So Dillian, have you always been a creative person, would you say? Yes, I think I was born creative. Um, I've always loved flowers and um, my mother said at an early age, she knew I was going to do something with flowers because I used to pick all the neighbours' flowers in the gardens. Um, I have started also my career as a graphic designer and um, this, is, this led me into working with flowers as I used to love drawing pictures and watercolours of paintings and then decided um, to go that way. Um, root because um, flowers have always been a passion of mine as well as colour so that's really how I started so yes I've always been creative. And what made you take this completely new direction at the age of 56? Um, as you know I taught at the University of the Arts and um, I think um, lots of the art programmes were closing um, in universities and I had the opportunity um, to open here with my daughter the Covent Garden Academy of Flowers and um, I've never looked back. It's just the most wonderful thing to have done and I'm loving every moment of it. Was it because you'd been in education before, working at the university, was it quite daunting to start a um, business? Oh yes, I'm, I've never been a businesswoman and I've always been a teacher and that's where my passion is. I love teaching, I love the creative side of teaching but um, with my daughter, um, Fleur, who is, um, we're partners together, and all my wonderful colleagues, um, it's been really an easy ride. Like me, you work with your, your daughter who's called Fleur, which I think is absolutely lovely. Um, so tell us what, what are the pleasures and challenges of working with your daughter? Um, because we think very much alike and um, she's always been around. My husband and I were very creative and um, she has great creative talents herself and it was just sort of, she fell in, we, fell into it easily together and um, no, we just love every moment of it and um, our ideas rub off and um, it works incredibly well, no, it, it couldn't be nicer and have great pleasure in seeing my daughter most days which is a great bonus. That's exactly what I find uh, the, uh, the pleasures for me too. Um, tell us about the, uh, the, the Academy of Flowers, so how has that evolved from the time that you started nine years ago? Well, when we first started, um, we had a few courses and then we listened to what people wanted and we run, oh, so many courses now. We've had students from all around the world, which is quite wonderful. We even had a student from Australia that came for an evening class. I know it's hard to believe, but she did. And we run our diploma course, which is um, for students wanting to take um, flowers in a more of a serious way and open up their own businesses, as well as people coming just for pleasure and um, just for enjoyment. So um, we have a great mix here, which really is um, quite exciting because we get students of, of all ages and all backgrounds. So it makes it a very interesting, interesting working environment. Your husband, Alan, has Parkinson's disease. T uh, tell us a little bit about how his illness has impacted on your life and also uh, perhaps on the academy. Yes, um, we've been married for 44 years and um, Alan was diagnosed with Parkinson's um, about four years ago. Um, I was a student of Alan, so we've, in the creative side, so we've always um, worked together and he did teach at the academy as well, but obviously he has Parkinson's and he's lost his confidence a little bit, even though um, he carries on and does a lot of creative work at home. I mean, he is my mentor and my inspiration. So um, it has had impact. Obviously, he can't do the things that he's always wanted to do, but it's rather nice that I can come home and tell him what we're doing, and I think it really has helped him come to terms with his Parkinson's. So uh, tell us a little bit about how you feel about ageing. I don't really think about it, really. I mean, I don't think I have time. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm younger than I am until I start to lift heavy buckets, but then... Um, I, I don't really worry too much because I'm still doing things that I would have done when I was younger. Um, no, I, it doesn't worry me a great deal. You're obviously still a, a very beautiful and stylish uh, woman. Um, tell us what your approach to fashion and beauty is, uh, especially now you're older. 
I love colour. I think it's really exciting. One has a little bit more money to spend when you're older, so you can choose the clothes that you like. Um, colour, again, is another passion of mine, so I, you know, looking at different fashion. Um, it's quite hard to say, really, because when you're working, it's, it's different. But um, I've always loved um, fashion. I've always loved colour. Um, and I enjoy wearing nice things. What would you say is the best thing about being older, in fact? I think there's lots of advantages. I don't ever feel that I'm older, but I think that you have more experience, more confidence, and um, you feel that you can sort of um, help people. Um, I think if I started the academy earlier, I don't think I'd have had the experience and the confidence that I've got now. I just, I just love every minute of it, and um, it keeps me younger. I, you know, I'm 66 today, so um, I'm, you know, I just feel sometimes I look in the mirror and think, oh my goodness me, you know, am I that old? And I, but I never feel it, so I'm, I, age doesn't worry me as long as I can carry on, and I'm very lucky to have my health to be able to do this as well. I didn't realise you. It was your birthday today. I'm sorry. So, so happy birthday. Thank That's you. absolutely brilliant. Thank you. Um, and what about your plans going forward? Do you have any plans to retire or um, do you intend to stay involved with the Academy uh, for as long as possible? Um, I want to stay involved as long as possible. I can't see retirement. It's not a word that I'm thinking about at all at the moment and just love um, being around younger people, students. They really are inspirational to me as well. So um, as long as I can keep going and my husband's health keeps going very well, um, I'm happy to be here and work with flowers. It, it's just a joy, you know, mm. when someone's working with something they love, it doesn't seem like you're working. And that's no. what it feels like to me. And um, just love every moment. Yeah. There, there's no real re reason for you to stop, is there? Because, uh, you know, it's not, it's not as though your age has any impact or, or, or makes any difference. You're a creative uh, person. And there, there is no reason why you can't carry on for as long as you want to. No, there's no reason. And, you know, working with flowers, you, you see lots of people come in and they don't have a lot of confidence. And working with the flowers, you know, sort of old or young, they bloom. And I think that's lovely and that makes me feel really happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, and finally, uh, you are obviously a creative person. How, how do you feel about makeup? Do you enjoy the process of putting makeup on? Do you like the Do you like the effect of it? Yes, I do. I think it's all women, you know, love the effect of makeup, and it's quite nice to wear lipstick and foundation. And um, you know, I think it's it's rather nice. It, it gives me a boost when I go out, Good. and I enjoy it. Okay. Thank you very much indeed, Delia. It's been an absolute pleasure to talk to you today. And it's been a pleasure being talking to you as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.